is no ordinary mud. The towering column of steam shows that this mud is emerging from within the earth at boiling point. I'm in Indonesia, one of the most volcanically active countries on earth, which is a clue to the origin of this strange phenomenon. You know what's happened down there is one of the most unusual eruptions on earth. It's a volcano, but it's not spewing out molten lava. That is a mud volcano. This volcano began erupting in 2006, and for the people who live here, it's been a disaster. Around 30,000 people have been displaced by the mud flow, and around 10,000 homes have been destroyed. Down on the ground, there's a real sense of desolation. <laughs> You're not close, it's the... It's the sheer oddness of the scene that strikes you most. Like the fact that I'm walking alongside the roof of a mosque. A mosque that was once the centerpiece of a village that now lies entombed in solid mud beneath me. Such an eerie feeling. It's as if the planet has decided to reclaim this place from humanity. Life has been completely smothered. But there's something that makes this eruption unique. And that's what it was caused by. The eruption that's going on out there is really special because it's almost certain it's not natural at all. Geologists think that it was triggered by us, by human activities, when an underground probe for natural gas went horribly wrong. In 2006, developers were drilling in search of gas, but at around 10,000 feet, they withdrew the drill. The pressure in the well then dropped, which sucked in hot water from surrounding rock. This caused fractures in the rock. Water burst through and shot upwards, mixing with layers of mudstone to form a liquid mud that boiled to the surface. Every day, enough mud emerges to fill more than 40 Olympic-sized swimming pools. To try to contain the flow, enormous levees have been constructed. Wallowing machines are still trying to channel mud away from the surrounding villages. Concrete blocks have even been thrown into the center of the volcano in an attempt to plug it. But every effort to hold back this relentless tide has failed. To me, this eruption symbolizes our strange relationship with the planet today. On the one hand, we are an incredibly powerful force now, capable of triggering volcanic eruptions. But on the other hand, we're not really in control of that power. Much of the effect that we have on the planet even takes us by surprise. These days, it's easy to see our impact on the planet in a negative light. The story of an Eden destroyed. But our relationship with the Earth is far more intriguing and surprising than that.